What if the fastest way to move your mind forward is to walk backwards? Imagine this, you're stuck. Maybe it's a problem at work you can't solve, or a decision you keep overthinking, or just that foggy, scattered feeling where your brain refuses to focus. You've tried everything. Coffee, a walk around the block, scrolling your phone for a mental break. Nothing works. Here's what you haven't tried. Turning around and walking the other direction. Sounds absurd, right? But neuroscientists discovered something remarkable. When you walk backwards, even for just five minutes, your brain doesn't just work differently. It literally reorganizes itself in real time. We walk forward thousands of times every day. Same motion. Same pattern. Your brain runs on autopilot. And when your brain is on autopilot, it stays trapped in the same loops, the same thoughts, the same stress, the same creative dead ends. But backward walking? Your brain has no autopilot mode for that. Studies from the University of Roehampton found that people who walked backwards for just five minutes showed a 30% improvement in working memory immediately afterward. Not after weeks of practice. Not after a training program. Immediately. Same body. Different direction. Completely different brain state. The neuroscience. When you walk forward, your brain barely thinks. Your motor cortex handles the mechanics, and everything else goes dormant. You're moving, but mentally, you're somewhere else entirely. But the moment you start walking backwards, everything changes. First, your proprioceptive system wakes up. These are the sensors throughout your body that track where you are in space. Walking backwards forces them to work overtime because you can't rely on visual cues. You're moving into the unknown with every step. This sends your prefrontal cortex, your command center, for attention and decision-making into active monitoring mode. No more autopilot. Full conscious engagement. Second, your brain starts building new neural pathways. Researchers using brain imaging found that backward walking creates connections between your motor cortex and cognitive centers that don't communicate during normal walking. Your hippocampus, the hub of memory and learning, lights up with activity. A study from the University of Exeter discovered something even stranger. Walking backwards changes how your brain processes time itself. Participants were asked to recall past events. Half walked forward. Half walked backward. The backward walkers recalled 30% more details accurately. Third, there's the attention reset. Normal walking is mindless. You can walk and worry. Walk and ruminate. Walk and mentally spiral into anxiety. Your body moves, but your mind stays stuck. Backward walking doesn't allow that. You cannot walk backwards and think about something else. It's cognitively impossible. Try it right now if you don't believe me. The stupidity traps. Now here's where smart people sabotage themselves. Trap number one. This looks ridiculous, so it can't work. We dismiss simple solutions because they don't feel sophisticated enough. We want the complex app, the expensive course, the scientifically branded program. But your brain doesn't care about sophistication. It cares about disruption. And walking backwards is pure disruption. The awkwardness you feel? That's the point. Discomfort signals neural growth. Trap number two. I need more time, equipment, or preparation. People convince themselves they need a gym membership, a meditation app, the perfect morning routine with 17 steps. Meanwhile, five minutes of backward walking in your hallway delivers immediate cognitive boost. You're overthinking instead of acting. Trap number three. If I can't see instant results, it's not working. Brain changes aren't as visible as lifting weights. You don't see your neurons firing. 
But fMRI scans prove the changes happen in real time. Your brain is rewiring as you move. The practical framework. Let me give you three principles. Principle 1. Strategic timing. Use backward walking when you need cognitive reset. Before making an important decision, it clears bias and mental clutter. When you hit a creative block, it forces your brain into new patterns. After hours of sitting, it reverses mental stagnation. When you feel overwhelmed, it grounds you instantly. Five minutes, that's all you need. Principle 2. Progressive Implementation Week 1. Five minutes a day in a safe space. Your hallway. An empty room. A quiet park path. Get comfortable with the mechanics. Week 2. Combine it with problem solving. Pick one challenge you're facing. Walk backward while thinking about it. Don't force solutions. Just hold the question in your mind and move. Week 3. Use it as your mental reset button. Anytime you feel stuck, turn around and walk. Principle 3. Maximize the effect. Don't listen to music or podcasts. Your brain needs to focus entirely on the movement. Keep your eyes open, but use soft focus. Don't lock your gaze rigidly. Breathe naturally. Don't hold your breath because you're nervous. And if possible, do this outdoors. More sensory input equals more neural activation. Here's an advanced application. After walking backward for five minutes, immediately journal for two minutes. Capture whatever insights surfaced. You'll be surprised what emerges. Your brain craves novelty. But novelty doesn't require complexity. Every time you walk backwards, you're sending a signal to your entire nervous system. Wake up. Pay attention. Something's different. And in that state of heightened attention, clarity emerges. Problems untangle. Ideas connect. Mental fog lifts. We live in a world obsessed with moving faster. Productivity hacks. Efficiency tools. Speed reading techniques. But the real power isn't in moving faster. It's in moving differently. The smartest people don't just think in new directions. They move in new directions. And sometimes, the breakthrough you need is hiding five minutes behind you. So right now, stand up, turn around, and take five minutes walking backwards. Your brain is already waiting for you to make the move.